This is unnatural. Quite unnatural. But I can't turn away. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Away. A prototype game that was tweeted at me by the by the dev. And they were quite flattering, so I'm like, okay, I'll give it a try. I gotta give it a try. Um, seems like it has some pretty simple controls. Jump and glide with spacebar. Aim and attack. We've got an auto-aim on O. P for pause. I to invert axis. Axises. Axi. Axits. Whatever it is. I don't know uh, if that's a typo or what. But uh, look at our, our cute little sugar glider. Oh my gosh. He's got such big eyes and huge pupils and should probably be not running around in the daylight. But that's okay. That's just uh, a little hole in the theory of what's going on. So let's go over here. We'll glide on some rocks, jump on some stones. That's what we're going to do first. Oh boy. And uh, I get my little, my little flappy wings. And yeah, that, that makes things pretty easy, doesn't it? Maybe I can do two at once. Oh, buddy. Nope. <laughs> okay, so water's bad. Water's bad for sugar gliders unless they're they're drinking it. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that. Oh, and there's a lizard. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna name this lizard uh Terry. Terry. That's a nice name for a lizard. And my sugar glider is gonna be named Harry. Because he's he's a hairy little guy. He's a hairy little guy! So, uh, I'm keeping this lizard in my mouth for now. Oh, no I'm not. I flung it away somewhere. It's gone. It's gone forever. Forget about it. I'm sorry, Teary. You're dead forever. You're dead to me. Um, so yeah. Climbing trees, eating lizards. I guess the, the lizards are a smart choice because if you're just eating, uh, fruit... Like, I think sugar gliders eat fruits mostly. That's why they're called sugar gliders, right? Because they eat sugar and they glide places. But uh, the lizards are more interesting to catch. So let's creep out on the edge of this limb and see if we can. Oh no! No! No, Harry, please! <laughs> oh god damn it! <sighs> and I fell in the water again. Okay, well, that that's just a thing that happens sometimes. Should probably stay away from this these things near the water. Oh, there you are. Hello, Terry. Oh, where'd you go? Damn it. He activated his camouflage. I cannot see him in the daylight with my large sugar glider eyes. So, at the moment, the controls a little bit wonky. Um, I will admit that. It's definitely hard to see which tree you're aiming at and things like that. I thought I had a pretty good bead on that, that other tree, but I guess I just wandered too far to the, uh, the edge of the limb lost my grip kind of thing. So let's see if we can spy another tree out here. There's one. There's one over there. So jump and glide. And if you hump the air like this, you can go a little bit further. Oh. I want to glide from tree to tree like a like a sugar glider would, I assume. I don't know much about sugar gliders. They're from uh, Australia. I do know that. They're flying possums, making them uh, part of the marsupial family. I do know that. Uh, I know a little bit about their diets. They eat uh, mostly fruits, but also will eat lizards and bird eggs and uh, basically anything. They're omnivores, like us humans. Oh, look at that. Look at that. From tree to tree, just like I want it to be. Good job, sugar glider. Doing a great thing. I should call him, uh, Harry. I should call him by his name, you see. Camera angle's a little awkward, but, um, kinda to be expected in, a, a prototype this early on. But the, the flying controls are quite nice. I'll give it that. See if I can get to this tree. No! There's a, a fine balance in humping the air. <laughs> you gotta be good at it. You gotta be good at it. I'm not quite as good as uh, I could be, I suppose. But at this point in the game, you don't you don't really have to be. There's not very many challenges presented. It's just kind of uh, seeing seeing what it do, what it do, baby boo. And there I go crashing into the ground. 
probably break my little sugar glider neck. Oh, but there's some more lizards. Yeah. Hell yeah, boy. And my controller's rumbling around. Should probably try some of these uh controller controls, eh? That's that's about the same. And I wanna try uh I wanna try toggling off the auto aim. And then we'll see if I can catch a lizard that way. Oh my god. They're so good at camouflage. I don't know what's happening. I will say that this uh this sugar guard is fucking adorable. Look at him! Oh, nothing else in the game is like super worked out or anything, but this sugar glider model is pretty nice. There's also a container up there of some sorts. Perhaps we are in a lost civilization. Oh, didn't catch that lizard. He was sticking pretty close to me though. Come on, Terry number two. Where you at, Bo? Come here, Bo. Damn. They just disappear. They just disappear so quick. I really like that you can uh, kind of control where you're going in the air. A little bit of uh, aerial movement makes the gliding feel really nice. I'll admit that the uh, controls on the ground, yeah, not the greatest thing ever, but as I said, I give it a lot of leeway because one, the devs were super nice about it, and two, it's it's early prototype. I don't know what you want. Oh my god! Crashed straight into the ground. I'm not going to control her anymore. I'm not going to control her anymore. <laughs> uh, how about lizards? Lizard! <clears throat> Did I get him? I didn't get him. There's so many. Gotta get at least one. Ah! Uh, did I get one? Yeah, I got one! Super! Super duper! Right on! I think he's still breathing. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I don't know how this can happen. Blech. I got another one. See? Tried to jump up in the air and escape from me. But there is no escape. Little did he know. Let's let's go uh, hang out with this cluster of lizards. Look at that. Look at that. They want to be my friend. Oh, I think they ran into their, their lizard cave. Which isn't quite done being rendered yet, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> I forgive it. And I'm not as proficient as climbing up the rocks as I am climbing up the trees. I thought I would be because uh, the texture's the same at the moment, but I guess it's it's placeholder for now. That's fine. I understand. But uh, yeah, I don't know if sugar gliders can climb rocks or not. I assume so. If you can climb a tree with your little claws, you can probably climb a rock as long as it's not like sheer face. Holy shit! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. No, sir. I'm gonna go check out this, uh, this contain. <laughs> Do a barrel roll! Oh, God, what is happening? <laughs> oh, I really enjoy, uh, little bugs and glitches and silly shit like that more than I should. Most people would be like, oh, this game literally unplayable now, but. I don't know. It kind of uh, it kind of endears me in a way. I'm like, oh, look at the physics. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? All right, tree, go. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be, boy. You need to climb up in the tree. Keep an eye on the container. It's right behind me. So I want to find a branch that's sticking out that way. This seems like a good candidate. Oh, with the with the spinning and the weird physics, it's kind of hard to tell which way is up. I should probably have like a directional indicator. Oh my god, I'm right on top of the the container now. All right, jump for it, jump for it. Oh god, <laughs> I'm glad there's not fall damage. I'm probably complicating this more than I need to, anyways. So there we go. Look at that. Keep a track of how many lizards I killed. So I need one more, perhaps? What is this? It's like Cat Demon Heart 8. 
Cat Demon Heart 8, question mark, uh, scale, or spring. I think it's a scale. Should I be bringing the, uh, the lizard corpses here? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I mean, I could toggle the auto-aim back on, and then, uh, it would be super easy to catch the lizards. Oh, look, and the skin also has the, the same texture. At least sometimes, I guess, depending on the light. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so yeah, even the Sugar Glider model is not, uh, completely complete yet. But that's okay. I forgive it. Let's take Terry, what, I guess Terry number eight. God, I'm gonna eliminate all the lizards on this island. That's so sad. <gasps> and I fucking lost him. I was trying to take him back to the container. Maybe I don't need to take the body back. Maybe it's gonna be like, good job, you caught eight lizards. Here's a special surprise for you. And I'll be like, ooh, special surprise. I love a special surprise. Diaper surprise. Here we go. But yeah, I think a, a directional indicator would be extremely helpful in this game. Fucking barrel rolling around and all kinds of shit. Um, like if you're if you're diving or something like that, then you you should have like a necklace on that basically floats to the top and lets you know which way you are relative to the the surface of the ocean where you breathe. So I assume you should know where the the top is if you're in a, a tree or something like that. So you don't jump off the bottom of a branch and crash into the ground kind of thing. But who knows, might be added later. I'm just spitballing here. Oh, I thought I was going to stick on that stick on that root. I guess I'll try and kill some more lizards and see uh see how that go. <laughs> My sugar glider keeps doing the the face animation, face cleaning animation as he dives, which is kind of awkward. Just a little bit. I do appreciate those idle animations. Alright, I killed one. How do I pick it up? That's my attack move. You just kind of pat it. Here, let me massage you, lizard. <laughs> oh, that lizard's done. I need another one. Come here! Free massage! Free massage! <laughs> ah, there you go. That's a good boy. You like your massage, huh? Oh, look, your back is tensed up. My goodness. <laughs> oh, he's done. Alright, here we go. Free massage! Oh, that one's still alive. I mean... <sighs> I'm, not, I'm not killing my clients, if that's what you're thinking. I wouldn't do something like that. I'm an innocent little sugar glider. Look at my face. I'm so innocent and adorable. I think he's just... You know, he should be sleeping. It's a nocturnal animal. But this sugar glider's diurnal for some reason, because that's when all the, uh, the lizards are out, and that's how he makes his money. I'm gonna turn that auto-aim back on just so I can catch some more lizards. It's so easy to catch the lizards with auto-aim enabled. It's like, boom, boom, murder them all. Alright, this is a good client. Look at that. Oh, so much tension down in your, in your tail region. My goodness. How did this happen? been so busy. See, you can tell they're not dead because they're breathing. Although it might be like they're, they're dying breaths or something like that. Oh, there he's getting quite busy with the lizard. You see that? You probably shouldn't look at that. Kids, kids, look away. Don't, don't view this right here, what's happening. This is unnatural. Quite unnatural. But I can't turn away. <laughs> it's like a train wreck. I think, uh... If I if I pet it like this, <laughs> use my attack on it. That's that's what makes it go away. I could just sit here and hump it all day if I want. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't tell if it's a, a time thing or or what's going on, but that's okay. Plenty more lizards to hump and kill. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> oh boy. And then we can massage him a little bit. Oh hey hey hey, You're not done. Happy ending! Happy ending! Yeah. Look at that lizard blood. A little splat on the ground. And then the blood cleans itself up! Hey you! Pick up that blood! Pick up that blood! 
poor sugar glider. Just out here trying to make a few bucks for his little sugar glider family. Can't even go to sleep during the day like he's supposed to. You know, that's rough. I think he just drank uh, a little bit of caffeine. Or maybe just sugar, you know? That's that's in their name, I guess. <laughs> he was uh, eating a bunch of sugar, now he can't go to bed. It's just like me. I'm like, hey, let's drink a monster at 9 o'clock. That's what my body tells me to do. And then I lay in bed until 2 a.m. No, I don't. I'll get up. I'll get up and do some YouTube shit. But don't drink a monster at 9 p.m. is uh, is what I guess I'm saying. <laughs> Learn from my experiences. Or don't. Maybe you need to stay up till 2 a.m. I ain't gonna tell you how to live your life. I guess I shouldn't tell the sugar glider how to live his life either. Ain't that right. Ain't that right, little buddy? I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know about your personal experiences, things like this. That's okay. Everything's okay here. So, uh, there's no sound or anything like that, so I can't really judge it on that front. It's basically just, uh, to have some funsies at the moment. Oh, I wanted to glide into the container. I missed horribly. And now I just, what the fuck? <sighs> I don't understand! So I'd, I'd like to figure out this container puzzle, but, um, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time doing it, and if I am supposed to drag lizards into there or something, then, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't really want to take the time to do it, just because the, the physics are a little wonky. I can't grab the lizards properly. And again, I failed my gliding. I'll just walk into it. I'll just walk into it like a fucking human. A shitty human. I didn't want to play a human. I've been playing a human for 30 years. 18! Come on! Did I win? Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't win. I got stuck in the 8. But yeah, this seems like a pretty promising game. Um, if it gets fleshed out a little more, I, I can see myself enjoying it. I did land on that tree. The root of the tree, but it's still a tree. Um, yeah. It seems like it could be pretty cool with a few more obstacles, maybe some predators to run away from. Ooh, that would be sweet! There's been uh, a couple of prototype releases so far. First one was like, just run around. Second one was like, go hunt lizards. Third one is now climbing trees, which uh, adds a new, a new level of depth, if you ask me. Hump the air. Hump the air, you get some more uh, hang time. If you, if you time your humping right. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for that Predator release. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> uh, I fell in the water again. Daddy, no! Uh, so we'll probably revisit Away at some time in the future. Um, I hope it's not that long until a full release, but, you know, I think the devs should definitely take their time with it and uh, make the game something great. Uh, you know, a lot of games take fucking years, years and years, in order to get out of uh, the prototype or early access phase. I'm glad this game wasn't, like, sold as an early access game, because that would be really disappointing to a lot of people, I'm sure. But uh, they know what they got, you know. They know that it's uh, a product not worth selling yet, but I think definitely one day it could be. So, um... I really enjoy these animal simulators. Check out my Shelter 2 review um, if you want to see me play as an animal a little bit more. There I'm playing as like a lynx or something like that, trying to take care of my little, my little lynx babies. Hopefully I can get some sugar glider babies in this game. Um, hopefully it'll be nighttime in the next edition, I guess. And then maybe you could have like some night vision or something like that. Maybe hell, it is nighttime right now and just uh... My pupils are so big that I can fucking see the moon and it looks like the sun. I, I'm not really sure. I totally should have stuck on that tree, god damn it. <sighs> Anyways, friends, this has been Away. I hope that you'll uh, join us for the next installment. However long that may take, uh, I'll keep my eye on it. Look at that little guy in his idle animations. Oh, fuck. 
I want to get a sugar glider now. It's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. We've also got Twitter, Patreon, Discord links all down in the description. If you'd like to talk to me on any of those, support me in any of those ways, um, I'm always open to it. It's always, always appreciated. Once again, thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Day, and your humble narrator. This has been Away, and I shall see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.